As a graduate student, it's a reason I came here, to study alongside rabbinic students. Joel Wildermuth is president of the Graduate Student Association at Hebrew Union College. It does not make sense to me why they would cut the rabbinical program because that is, that is the essence of this, of this institution, of this place. Three students told us they fear the cuts are the first step toward a closure of the Cincinnati campus. They're going to try to not close it immediately, but it is hard for me to see a way that this campus remains as it is without the students here. We tried to talk to HUC President Andrew Rayfield today, but he declined. In a statement, he said there's no plan to close the Cincinnati campus, which will continue as a vital center of learning and scholarship. If you want to see the cultural impact of Hebrew Union College on Cincinnati, you should come to the Cincinnati Art Museum. This whole gallery is full of artifacts excavated by former HUC President Nelson Glick. The core of our ancient Middle Eastern collections relate to the Kerbet et Tanur. It's a Nabataean temple in present-day Jordan. And that temple was excavated in 1937 by Dr. Nelson Glick. Ainsley Cameron worked with an HUC grad student to reimagine the ancient Middle East gallery in December. She is concerned about proposed changes at HUC. Any change to an academic institution um, affects the community at large. So I wish the best for, for HUC and for difficult decisions that are coming forward. There's a deep sense of historical gravitas and a lot of meaning that's wrapped up in this place and the significance that it holds for the Cincinnati Jewish community. You're taking away the intellectual and spiritual lifeblood of, of Judaism here. That's a big deal. Yes, yes, it is a very big deal. It is something that should not be taken lightly. Dan Monk, WCPO9, IT.